Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new data mines to go over for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet DLC. Some really interesting things to take a look at today for the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at the first DLC data mine for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It was posted by Kurt, who of course is one of the main data miners in the community, saying new strings and structures added to the Scarlet and Violet 1.2.0 update hint at something interesting inside the DLC.dat text file. We see lines about receiving DLC items, apparel, and even Pokemon. So, when we go over to this here, it does say um saving don't turn off the power you saved your progress you'll need to save your game to receive your item is that okay and then it says you got an item you'll need to save your game to receive your apparel is that okay you got some apparel you'll need to uh you'll now receive a pokemon your game will have to be saved is that okay you'll get a pokemon uh you'll need to save your game to receive your item is that okay yada 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 so there are items apparel and pokemon that we are able to obtain in the dlc um in some way shape or form uh, now, of course, it was leaked a while ago by Riddler Koo saying that there was going to be a way um, to kind of not necessarily inject Pokemon into your game, but there was going to be some sort of like PK Hex-like feature in the DLC for the Generation 9 games. And I think this is what it is. I think there's going to be a way to create Pokemon um, that you can easily competitively uh, make and that will be able to be like injected into the game and that is how. So you have to do something and then you have to save it and then you get the Pokemon. I think that is what Riddleku was talking about with the PK Hex like feature for the DLC. Uh, but this is very interesting. If it's not that, then it's going to be some other way to like obtain Pokemon and items and apparel and stuff. We already got apparel for the DLC um, for the early uh, early purchase bonus. You basically get different alterations of the spring form, the summer form, uh, the autumn form um, and the winter form clothes. Uh, but uh, yeah, this looks to be different apparel completely. Also goes on to say a mysterious new data structure was added in the serialization schemes uh, to store DLC gift Pokemon data. See below picture for a C hashtag translation of the structure types slash fields named by Game Freak comments by me. Um, so yeah, different like scale types and size types and stuff of DLC gift Pokemon. So again, very, very interesting to see what those are going to be. I'm not sure if we're going to get like an early purchase bonus. I don't think we will because we already already got the Hisuian Zorok. So, I don't know, there, there might be something that, you know, once you go into the game, you are able to get a brand new Pokemon. I think the gift Pokemon is going to be one of the three legendaries. I think they have been confirmed to be legendaries now. Um, you know, you know the three that um, are in the Teal Mask. I keep forgetting the name, but uh, like Monkey Dory, I think, um, something like that. I don't know. You, basically, the monkey, the bear, and the or the dog, whatever it is, and the bird. I think one of those is going to be a gift Pokemon, and it's going to be like a starter Pokemon that we choose um, with the Teal Mask. And then that is the gift Pokemon that we do get. And that's going to be like where the size and weight thing and everything is from. Also goes on to say, seems like there will be some sort of external generator to, gen uh, to create DLC data. And these DLC gifts handled separately from Mystery Gift might be player customizable prior to receipt in game. Unsure how accessible this DS uh, DLC feature will be. So yeah, it very much seems like this is the PK Hex DLC feature that Riddler Koo was talking about months ago. Um, it's it, it just makes sense that that is what um, is going on with all this data thing here. So I guess they would technically be called Gift Pokemon um, if you were like receiving them, if you were creating them. I don't know. It's, I, I still think one of the Gift Pokemon is going to be uh, one of the three legendaries. And then you also catch Ogre Pond later on. Um, but at the same time, I think there is going to be a way in the Teal Mask or maybe in the Iron, uh, Iron, in the Indigo Disc uh, to get these kind of deals, uh, to get these like PK Hex like feature uh, Pokemon. But either way, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know. We also have these data mines to go over as well. This was Matt tweeting out saying, a follow up to my post, uh, to my last post on leftover textures from my Scarlet and Violet DLC areas. Uh, they added in a new tips image that makes play, uh, that takes place in one of the new areas from the DLC. We can see the uh, the same gate and the lantern textures here. So this is a new DLC battle background that has been data mined um, from the latest update. Um, so yeah, it looks a lot cooler. You know, it's, it's not just got people surrounding you this time. It does have like 
um, kind of, I guess they're like just a bunch of people in the background. Just, uh, I mean, there's more people now in the background. There's also like a lake around it and stuff. So yeah, this is, I guess, will be one of the new competitive backgrounds, DLC backgrounds, whatever you want to call it, for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Whether it's the Teal Mask or the Indigo, Indigo Disc, I feel like it could be either, really. Because the Teal Mask um, has like the Japanese theme and everything, whereas the Indigo Disc is underwater most of the time. And obviously there's water here, but who knows? Anyway, that is one of the backgrounds. Uh, we also have these textures as well to go over. <clears throat> We've got Matt here saying, Some Scarlet and Violet DLC textures that were not scrubbed from the version 1.2.0 update. I haven't found anything else too notable yet. File names contain DLC0 underscore C01, DLC0 City01, and include references to a festival, which makes sense based on what was seen in trailer footage. So, of course, uh, these are just some extra things um, found in the update that, again, they didn't take away, which is to do with the DLC, some festival kind of uh, items and stuff. Nothing crazy, um, just like patterns and stuff, but at the same time, you would expect to see these in the DLC 100% in the teal mask. This is not the Indigo Disc, this is a teal mask. And then also goes on to say more object textures as well as background crowd npcs so these background crowd npcs could simply be for um this kind of battle background here but yeah these are uh, this is all the different um characters in the background and stuff for like battles and whatnot more texture patterns uh, and then also this as well so yeah just a ton of like different kind of items here like somebody has here says are they pc boxes uh they very well could be pc backgrounds that you can use in your, your pc boxes and stuff you could definitely see that being a thing um but yeah at, right as of right now it's just random kind of patterns and stuff taken from the dlc uh in the latest patch uh we also have this as well from el chico eevee <clears throat> Pardon me. 100% uh, this is DLC things. Apparently, uh, these files were in release game and now got updated. So, objects underscore UN underscore C01, champion gate 02 underscore object 02 underscore ALB. And they added now, I'm not going to read it all out again, but you can see the thing. So, uh, yeah, this is another thing that's kind of been data mined. Some weird ass pattern here. I'm not sure what this could potentially be. Um, and then this was also uh, El Chico Eevee here saying, uh, more kind of uh, patterns and stuff. This is very similar to what Matt found, but again, some other bits and bobs that you know weren't present in his post. And then also we have El Chico here, uh, El Chico Eevee here saying, I don't know where this is used, but it looks like the Terrell, uh, the Teal DLC thing. If you see the star, um, so again, if you go down here to the star, I mean, there's definitely going to be something interesting about that mask for 100. So that could be related to one of the things found in the DLC. But yeah, very Japanese inspired kind of patterns and and stuff, which makes sense because we're going to a Japanese festival in the Teal mask and then finishing things off this isn't this i mean it wasn't really data mined in the latest update but this was data mined a while ago um and i never really went over it we went over it a little bit but basically they kind of like had a video and everything this is el chico ev talking about this unused room in pokemon scarlet and violet uh sorry for the watermark but i can see central already grabbing the video with zero credits that's what he does um so yeah, this is a room that is uh, accessible if you like hack yourself into it. But this is an unused room in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So potentially this could be used in the DLC at some point. Because at the same time, you still have to think about the fact that Billy and Onir were data mined in the DLC with text. And it, I mean, they're probably going to be in one of the different locations but as well as that heath was also um seen with text dialogue um which was data mined and i don't know where heath is going to be apart from area zero he's not going to be just on, on his jollies in one of these locations on the dlc because he's going to be dead and, unless he's like in area zero trapped somewhere because it was like 200 years ago so yeah i'm not sure where the heath dialogue has come from or the billionaire but either way this is one of the unused rooms so just going to play it here as again, shout out to El Chico Eevee for kind of uh, finding this out. But you can completely run around this room. Uh, there's some interesting kind of fossil excavation items at the top. Uh, there's a TV. There's like a little tunnel there. So that could be burrowing somewhere. Maybe into Area Zero. You don't know. Um, and again, just like loads of different kind of things on the wall. But yeah, seems to be some sort of like miner or a, um, hiking person or some sort of uh paleontologist or maybe i'm not sure somebody that's like excavating fossils and and stuff there's a lot of work there um so yeah could be just could be just a random trainer house really like maybe if scarlet and violet had longer had a longer development time maybe we would have been able to go into houses and stuff because yeah this is like the first pokemon game in a long time where you literally just can't go in any houses which I, I didn't even think about when i was originally playing it because there was just so much open world to explore but yeah you literally just can't go into any houses or anything so maybe that's just because their development time was cut short and uh, they didn't have enough time to implement all these houses maybe it's a special house that's going to be in the dlc you don't know it could easily be in the dlc um it, it very well could be in the teal mask um or the 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 indigo disc it could be either of those uh, but either way, that is a another room that was uh, data mined, uh, which again, 
Could have been cut content. Could have been a secret room in the DLC. We're not too sure at all. But yeah, big shout out to El Chico Evie for discovering that. And that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Uh, let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on all of the latest DLC data mines and everything. What are your thoughts about these gift Pokemon, gift items, gift apparel? I think it's to do with the um, the three legendaries. Um, the The monkey door and everything like that and i also think it's to do with the pk hex like feature for the dlc that ridley was talking about um a few months ago i think that's what this is all to do with and then also let me know your thoughts on everything else and also what do you think the secret room is again this was posted a while ago on the 15th of february but at the same time still thought it was quite interesting whilst we're talking about data mines uh but yeah that's everything from me drop a like leave a comment subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell for daily pokemon content have a fantastic rest of your day though and until next time peace